When you look up at the moon, it gives you a sense of wonder. But have you ever wondered what would happen if the moon exploded? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm Charlotte Dobre. It is highly unlikely that the moon would ever explode. The idea sounds like the topic of a doomsday sci-fi movie. In fact, it was the topic to a novel called Seven Evs by Neil Stevenson. But theoretically, it is scientifically plausible for the moon to explode. In the book Seven Evs, there is no identifiable reason why the moon explodes. It just suddenly breaks up into seven major chunks and millions of minor fragments. These pieces are held together by gravity in the same area where the moon was. But there is one possible explanation for a moon explosion. A rogue planet, one that is aimlessly wandering through space, would have to crash into our moon. Sound impossible? It is estimated that rogue planets outnumber stars 100,000 to 1. Alright, so a rogue planet came hurtling toward Earth, smashes into the moon. What happens next is, the moon breaks up into a million pieces. There's there's an air of calmness as the pieces spin and move, but are being held by gravity in the same region. But then, one of the larger pieces smashes into another, which splits the piece into smaller parts. As each large piece smashes into another, more and more fragments are created. Physicists call this phenomenon the Kessler effect. Many scientists believe the space junk in Earth's orbit could build up so much that it could cause this phenomenon, making it impossible for us to launch anything into space, including ourselves. If the moon exploded, there would be so much debris in orbit around Earth that around two years afterward, the pieces would form a massive cloud or even a ring around Earth. Can you imagine having Earth having a ring like Saturn? It would be pretty, but it wouldn't last long. Then comes the chaos. Like Saturn's ring, the debris wouldn't stay there. The hard rain would come. Meteorites would crash into our planet at a rate we have not seen since the beginnings of our Earth and solar system. Fiery pieces of rock would crash into Earth for thousands of years, maybe 10,000, igniting everything in their path. The hard rain would destroy everything on land and potentially generate enough heat to evaporate our oceans. Until that happened, the oceans would not have a tide, because there's no moon to create it. So much of ocean life depends on the moon. Algae goes to the surface of the ocean in the evening, toward the moonlight. Fish follow the algae to feed on it. Without the moon, entire ecosystems would go extinct. The loss of the moon also directly affects Earth's orbit, rotation, and wobble. Without it, the Earth would wobble more and more, sending our oceans into chaos. This would also affect how the moon orbits the sun. Our seasons would no longer be the same. The moon also grounds our planet. Without it, our orbit around the sun would be unstable. All of this would go on for the rest of Earth's existence, making it impossible for humans to live here. The moon also acts as a shield for the Earth, where some space debris crashes into it, rather than the Earth. If there was no moon, all of the meteorites would crash into the Earth. The only way humans could escape this apocalyptic scenario would be to create space colonies, where humans would actually live in space or on other planets, and do so for thousands of years. I will say this again, it is highly unlikely that the moon would ever explode, but we hope this video has made you realize how important our moon is to our planet and to our existence. It might look like a big piece of cheese in the sky, but it is vital to life on Earth. Let's hope that nothing ever destroys our beautiful moon. I'm Charlotte Jobray for Life's Biggest Questions. Don't forget to like this video, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more answers.